right, we're here. We're about to demo Rivian Assistant. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, oh, 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 give me one second. Uh, <laughs> hi, Tra <laughs> say hi to Travis. Yes, for the third time. Start from me. All right. Cool. Uh, so, yeah, so I think, um, as we'll see mentioned in the keynote, I think we we really want to highlight that what 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 what's possible when you have a platform that supports the entire intelligence, mm -hmm. um, kind of built in house, right? Um, we really didn't want to just put a chatbot in their car. We think that's not, that's not going to provide the best solution for someone that wants a deeply integrated experience with their car, right? So, um, part of the advantage of us having this architecture is that we're fully integrated with not just kind of your your basic commands and controls of the car, but mm -hmm. We're integrated with the charging service that we have, with the routing service that we have. So maybe you're going on a long road trip, but it really understands what what's happening, right? So um, maybe you're. I'll, I'll do a quick example. Hey, Rivian, can you navigate to South Lake Tahoe? Navigating to South Lake Tahoe. So obviously, you'll drive you're going to Tahoe. four hours and eleven minutes, and arrive around four forty p.m. We're going to need to charge. Um, so, hey Rivian, how long do I need to charge on my route? You will need to charge for fourteen minutes at the Rivian Adventure Network in Placerville, California. Oh. Hey Rivian, is there anywhere I can grab a cup of coffee near that charger? I found Cafe Santoro about 160 miles away in Diamond Springs. It has 4.7 stars. Would you like to learn more or navigate there? Uh, that sounds great. Can you actually add that as a stop on my route? Route updated. Stopping at Cafe Santoro, then Placerville, California, Rivian Adventure Network, Final arrival at 4.49 p.m. Right. So, wow. super helpful on road trips, mm -hmm. right? I, I go up to Tahoe a lot, so being able to just kind of know what charger I'm going to, know what the amenities are around there, maybe I need to <laughs> grab dinner one day and like I can find the best spot around a charger, maybe I go to a different charger. Being able to craft that trip is, is super, super helpful with voice. You don't have to pull out your phone and kind of do a whole bunch of like, Science to figure out where to go, what's the most optimal thing. It, it, it's just really easy with. Voice. And you can do this while driving. Absolutely. So you can be like, you know what, I need coffee. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's really so cool. if we're on the, on the highway, uh, maybe you have a kid in the back, mm -hmm. and suddenly you need to go to the bathroom, and you have to find a stop. You can quickly ask it. Actually, we we need to go somewhere before that cafe, and we need to find something um, now. And let, yeah. Find something closer by, um, and that, that's really the power of deeply integrating the assistant with our entire ecosystem. It's it's not just a simple chatbot, but it the assistant has deep integration into our, our places search, our, our different charging amenities um, capabilities, and and that's really what makes it super useful, especially on road trips, but also your everyday when you're just trying to get around. Um, yeah, are there some <clears throat> less common workflows you could go through? Like for example, uh, I drive a R1T. We also have an R1S, but mm -hmm. if I wanted to say, hey bring up the cameras that with the bed camera. Oh yeah, absolutely. So uh, we're in the S, but if we were there, yeah. I would have showed you that, but I can I can do something similar. Um, hey Rivian, can you show me the cameras in the back? <laughs> awesome. Hey yeah. Rivian, can you show me the front now? So it remembers the context that you were talking about cameras. Yeah, exactly. So, so it can use that to roll forward like a chatbot type of memory, at least. Exactly. So we think like memory is, is a core fundamental pillar of building a, a really useful assistant. Yeah. So not only does it know that I said the front, but it knows what it knows that this car has a front view. If we were in the R1T, I could have even asked it about the bed because it know, and that's available on the, on the R1T. So it would have known to show you that camera as well. Um, so that, that's really the beauty of merging the context of the car and then like the conversational context as well. Mm -hmm. um, that really allows it to make the, the best decision um, about what to do as well. Yeah. And it sounded like in the keynote, you guys are really trying to make this as extensive as extensible as possible. So I assume that even means things like at what control, like basically as weird as you can probably think about it, if it's a controllable thing from the UI in the car, 
it's probably controllable by voice. Absolutely. Our, our goal is that we, you should really be able to control the entire car mm -hmm. um, with your voice. And honestly, it, there, there's so many options. There's so many things going on. The, the interface is amazing and it's beautiful, but sometimes the easiest thing to do is just to tell the car what yeah. to do, right? Um, maybe I like, I think what one of the interesting examples is like, if you like what we saw in the keynote, you want to turn on all the seat warmers. If I wanted to do that, I would I would have to go in and like right, it's a process. Turn on yeah. all of them, right? But just being able to say, hey, can you make the car toasty for everyone? I don't want to be toasty, so I just say, except me. Right. It, it's able to know that, oh, we've got seat warmers in the car in this place and this place, which ones we want to turn on, make the right decision about uh, about that. And that, that's honestly one of the really powerful things about this is, is, is that blending of, of the deep integration of Rivian context mm -hmm. with the assistant context. Free marketing idea, turning on the air in the back for your dog. For your dog? Uh, we, I mean, you, you could do that, right? <laughs> I, no, I know, but I was saying, like, for the entire concept. Oh, oh okay. Have yeah, a yeah. dog hop in, get yeah. driving, you're like, oh, shoot. <laughs> you know, hey, Rivian, turn on the air in the back. <laughs> yeah, I think that's great. Um, absolutely. I think with, with kids and pets, it, it really becomes a lot of fun to just mm -hmm. be able to do those things so quickly. Um, and then... I. One of the other incredible things about um, the Rivian Unified Intelligence is that it's not just kind of um, maybe in the cloud or on the vehicle. Because we have that entire orchestration layer of where to run a command based on what we think is the right model to run it, mm -hmm. we can do certain things on board um, that, are, that never have to actually leave the car. And then if things are more complex or maybe it requires more understanding, we can pick another model that's in the cloud to, to satisfy that request. So something that's like, Super, that should be super fast, right? Like super quick that some people do all the time is changing the temperature. So, yeah. hey, Rivian, set the temperature to 73. So that's that's instant because that's handled by a, a Rivian model that we've uh, deployed on the vehicle. Right. Um, but maybe you say something like, hey, Rivian, uh, it's actually way too hot in here. Can you do something about that? That's more conversational. So we, we pick the right model in the cloud to be able to handle that. Um, to contextualize it, understand that you were talking about temperature as opposed to an explicit command of exactly. mm -hmm. temperature to this. Right. And, and I think the beauty of it is like, you as a user, you kind of want to do a mix of things. Like you're never going to want to just do commands. You're never going to want to just do um, your typical like, oh, like Q&A style, like chatbot things. You, in a car, you're going to want to do everything. And right. I think that's what this architecture enables us to do is we get to kind of pick um, where to run a certain um, kind of command based off of what what you what is the domain and what is the complexity of that request, mm -hmm. right? Um, and and really the the context that's available to the assistant is, is super powerful. I think in the in the demo we saw earlier with messaging, we were like doing navigations uh, yeah. um, queries and then we're sending a text message um, with that information. Um, but also the assistant just knows what's happening on the car as well, right? So uh, maybe you're listening to a song. Um, and hey, Rivian, can you tell me more about this song? So the assistant knows what song is playing. It, it's able to kind of pull that information. Burning Down by Alex Warren is a pop song released on September 20th, 2024, about betrayal and escaping a toxic relationship. <laughs> Would you like to learn more? No, I don't. But do you have any recommendations for similar music? I'm sorry, I encountered an error and cannot fulfill that request at this moment. It happens. Engineering try again. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it is able to kind yeah. of converse about all these different Still topics. better than Siri. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so in terms of like messaging integration, all that, that's all compatible with both iOS and Android, right? That's right. Okay. So it, it's, it's just your Bluetooth. So as soon as your phone connects with Bluetooth, do you actually um, mind pausing the music for copyright strikes? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Thanks. Um, <laughs> So, uh, sorry, you, you were asking about? iOS versus, and, you know, with Android and all that, yeah. Right, so as soon as your phone connects with Bluetooth, um, your contacts are saying okay. you, you're able to do kind of your calls, your texts. Um, Any special permissions that you have to, like, give? Uh, yeah, so, you, like, through Bluetooth, you can, um, like, for example, on iOS, you can choose, like, do you want your message notifications okay. to pop through? Do you want nice. context to sync? If you don't want your context to be synced, you can sure. also choose to do that and. If you prefer to call people with direct numbers, you can do that. Um, really, there, there's a lot of flexibility in how much you want to share um, with the assistant and how, how much you want it to be able to kind of access. Nice. Um, yeah. Is there anything specific that I could show you guys that you're interested in? Is is there something that I mean that you you're allowed to share that 
right now maybe it doesn't do that you want to see it do in the future like just like a, a crazy vision i think philosophically the the vision of the product is how do we build something that is truly giving people back time in yeah. their car i think you spend so much time in your car commutes and driving and traffic and it's a lot of wasted time because it's not safe to do anything right. while you're driving right. right and i think Google Calendar is kind of just a glimpse into what we're envisioning for the future of what you can be, what you can do. Um, so uh, I think anything productivity related, being able to get things done while you're driving, mm -hmm. is kind of what you can imagine as um, what what we're thinking about. Yeah. So we can hopefully see other you know apps such as like Apple Mail or Apple like Calendar or you know maybe Zoom or stuff like that, other integrations like that. I think, yeah, like the-, the Possibilities are endless. Get, get, yeah, possibilities are endless. I think given the, the the fact that we have the agentic integration capabilities, yep. it's, we, there's there's specs like A to A, agent to agent, there's like MCP, there's, we have the ability to build our own integration. Right. Um, it, it really is endless. And I think that that's what makes this architecture incredible is that we're not limited by any, any sort of kind of uh, domain or capacity. We, we can choose to add which integration we want. Love it. Cool. Well, thank you for your time. Yeah, thank yeah, you so absolutely. much. Appreciate it. it was super fun uh, showing you guys around. All right. Thanks. Thanks.